What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. We got a lot going on in this video and you're going to want to stick around to the end and see if we were successful. In this video we're going to be fitting up this fender. We're going to be putting on this bumper that we uh, painted in the last video. But first we we'll have to weld on this bracket. This bracket goes from here to here and I got all this straightened out the best I could and I got a little tension on it that way I can weld it kind of in the right place but first I'm gonna try to put this fender on make sure all the gaps are lining up along here and then I'll be able to tack that in place once I make sure everything is just right So first let's just try to dry fit everything and make sure it's all going to line up before we tack it on. So let's get this fitted in. And after I get it all fitted then I'll clamp it in place so it don't move again. Just put one bolt in it so it doesn't fall and get scuffed up on the ground. So I'm mainly worried about the hood gap. All right, first the gap on this side is perfect with this non rec side. Over here, I'll bring this in. And it matches up really good. I still got a little work to do here, banging this in, because I gotta push down and in. So I like that, so should be good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and bolt this side down. It looks good. I got one little spot well, actually two right here. So I'm gonna move this wire so it doesn't melt. I have one on the back side of here, and I have one here it's under here so i still got a little work to do here it's not aligned just right but i'm gonna start this way just kind of tighten that up and try to line this up as i go It's looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and get this fender back off and uh, try to line these holes up a little better. This is one of those things you just got to keep putting the parts on, take them off, adjust, put them on, take them off. All right, I think that's going to be it. I got it clamped in place exactly where it needs to go. So a MIG welder, I haven't used this in a while, so I have to remember how to do this again. Or it shouldn't be too hard, just tack it in place. Just removed all these little plugs, these wires. While doing that, I noticed this wire here is broken. So I'm gonna have to fix that. I already fixed this one. This goes to the headlight, so I had to get this plug here, wire all that together. I ordered this, this should be in in a day or two, but I missed this. I don't know what that goes to. So I'm gonna have to get that fixed, which that's not a big deal. And so let's roll it back. I got the battery disconnected, so I'm gonna just push it back because my welding plug is over here and that way it'll reach and I can weld it. All right, I got the first one welded in. A little bit of learning curve. It's not the prettiest in the world, but it made good penetration and that's gonna work, so I'll touch that up. 
but trying to figure out the settings because I don't remember all that and trying to get a good ground you want your ground as close as possible to where you're welding so now I moved it over here but we got pain and all that so they were kind of cut in and out which means it's not a good ground so let's try to get this one welded in and that'll be done I have to move this out the way to have room let's see where I can put the ground at as close as possible and I might have to scratch off some of the, the paint on the top I hate to and I know I don't have all the safety gear but when you tack weld you basically can't you can't wear a hood and all that stuff you just gotta close your eyes See, I'm not getting a good ground. And my tip's dirty and all that too, so. Should be good for that and i got one more to do right here all right it's all done i didn't want to show it because i'm not wearing my hood tack welding and i don't want people to copy what i do so it's all done it looks good i'm gonna hit it with a little self-etching primer and then whenever i paint the back bumper then i'll just touch that up so it came out really good it's gonna hold I think I'm gonna fix this wire next, and then when Tyler gets here, we'll we'll put the fender on and then the front bumper. And this is a great little welder too. I'll put a link in the description. It's called Yes Welder. It does MIG, TIG, stick, and it takes 0.023 wire, 0.030, and 0.035. I have 0.023 in it for um, sheet metal. But it could do heavier duty welding too. Thing always comes in handy. And it has a 110 plug if you want to use that. But it has a, an adapter too. So you can plug it into a 220. Get these welds cleaned up. Not too bad. Hit it with some self etching. Yep, I have enough in here. Got the car moved back in. I'm taking a look at that wire that was severed right here. And it looks like if you follow it around, It goes down to the wheel, so it's probably a speed sensor or maybe something with ABS, but I'm glad I happened to see that. So we definitely need that fixed. So I'm gonna get that put back together. And then by that time, hopefully Tyler will be home and we can finish up this fender and see how that bumper's gonna fit. Those aftermarket plastic bumpers, they usually don't fit too well, no matter if it wasn't wrecked or anything, if you just take one off a perfectly good car and put one of those raw bumpers on, they always different and it might be kind of buckled in one spot, but hopefully this one fits pretty good. So I got the wire in, I got it all clamped in. I don't have the little sleeve that you put over it and, and melt it over it, and the shrink wrap sleeve or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to have to just go duct tape 
not, not duct tape, electrical tape like this is the 1990s. So I'm going to just do extra tape. That way any moisture don't get in there. I think I'm going to go ahead and just hang this bumper on here. That way it'll be ready. That way when Tyler gets here we can really get everything fine tuned. Hopefully nothing moved when I welded. It's always a possibility. That's gonna be perfect. Love it. Now the only big hold up was gonna be the bumper. I just hate those raw bumpers. Sometimes it's better to try to find a, a used one and then refurbish it. All the gaps are coming out great. I measured it on the other side and it's exactly the same. So I'm going ahead and putting all the bolts in. This one right here, I guess in the wreck it kind of got stripped so I'm having to re-tap it. But that should be good now. Going in great. So the only issue, see I have this clamped. The hole here is not lining up. So I might have to drill a, a new hole here to hit that nut that's in there. Because I need this fastened down. That way it brings it down and exactly straight. Plus you want it strong right there because that's where your bumper's connecting in here. But all that's coming out good. All right, look who finally showed up to work. So now we can get this bumper installed. I'm gonna put down some pads so we don't scuff it up. So we'll get that installed and we got some parts coming in today. I think the, that center emblem that goes right here, that's coming in. We got a, a new pigtail clip coming in, the hood rod. So I think we got everything. We'll get the bumper on, should be able to get the headlights on. We got the fender liner. So I think that's about it. And maybe a few other little knickknacks, but let's get this bumper on and um, see what else we got to do. Ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put the bumper on now. I know you're supposed to put the headlights on first, but since this is an aftermarket bumper, I just wanna go ahead and put that on, see how it all fits, but just to see how everything checks out. Yeah, I think that we just had delivery. So it should be the little pigtail that we need over there. So we'll get that wired in. And that way we can get the headlights put in and then put the bumper. But I also noticed we're missing a little bracket right here on both sides. And I think it just clips in and that's what this bolts to. So we definitely need that there and there. So we might have to get that at a junkyard, I don't know. But we could put that in later after the bumper's installed. So let's just dry fit it right quick, take it back off. We can put this headlight on and I need to wire that pigtail in first. Just clip your end in first. I'm gonna just leave that kind of loose. So that matches up. Yeah, we definitely need that bracket for here and here. Looks good. Your side matched perfect. Yep. All right, we just put the bumper on. It looks really good. The color matches perfectly, so that's good. And we didn't put this side in all the way just so it's easy to take off. And then we have to just still install that bracket. Just pops right on, but this needs some support. So definitely gonna need that. And I'm gonna install the two headlights so my dad installs does the wiring pigtails. Yeah, the emblem came in too today. So we got the emblem, we got this rod, so we can get rid of that stick. And um, so let's get this back off, get the headlights on and get this knocked out. All right, Tyler's installing this headlight. Should be three wires. Don't forget this part clips into this little section here. It's 
kind of tricky. Bring that down. What is that, a Phillips or? 10. 10. Just don't tighten it too tight. Just keep it um, snug because you want to get all three in and then to go back and kind of tighten them up. So we got two more bolts there and there. Our ratchet broke. The battery on the Milwaukee died. So we need to get another one of these. I thought these were supposed to last a while. So we gotta buy some more of those. That's tight enough. You don't wanna go super tight because those clips break real easy. So all that lines up good. Got a good gap here. All right, we got three packages here, so we'll get those opened up, and get this wired in, and uh, get that headlight installed. So the original had a green and a white wire coming out. This is red and blue. I don't know if it matters which wire goes where, but I looked at the other one, and I marked it on here, which one was supposed to be green, which one's supposed to be white. So the red one was going to the green, so I, Make sure I got them all going to the right way. I just got the pigtail wired in so Tyler can install that now. Yeah, we're trying to scrounge up different screws and bolts because a lot of this, that headlight was completely destroyed. Let me see, this is all that was left of this headlight. So this is all we had. So that's why the pigtail was tore off. We don't have any of the, the clips and bolts. So we try to keep everything from all other builds. Like we have some stuff, ton of screws we dumped out just trying to salvage different screws and stuff. Hopefully this one fits as good as the other one because this is the aftermarket. It's gotta go above that. All right, good news and bad news that fit. We had to take it back out though. The bulb that was in the old one Let's see, where's it at? So this bulb is blown, so the blinker's not working. I took it out and tested it as bad. And then this one didn't come with a bulb. I just assume it, it said LED, so I thought all this was gonna be LED, but apparently only this, the headlight portion, came with the LED bulb. So we've gotta buy a new one of these, get a bulb for this, and, um, that all works perfect. I tested this, got 12 volts coming to this. This is the blinker, I got it on, I tested it, and it's showing voltage off, voltage off, so if the blinker would be working on that. So all the wiring is good, no issues there. So we'll, we could disconnect that, put it up, go get the bulbs, and we can keep on with some other stuff we gotta do. With most builds, you take one step forward and two steps back because you always have a lot of issues, but that's no big deal because we still have a lot of other stuff we can do. We're gonna get this open. We're gonna get the emblem installed, see if that even fits with the luck we're having, and then get the neck installed on the, what's it called? That's the windshield washer the wind reservoir. The windshield washer reservoir. So let's get this installed first. Hopefully this fits. I took that piece off of the old one. Probably got to fit it in way more than that. Yeah, there you go. Let me grab this. Now we're looking a little more classy. So that worked. Let's get that um, filler neck. Put that on. Let's see if we're going to be two for two. Turn this bad luck around. 
should be real tight. Push down and wiggle. All right, you got that installed. Now you got the emblem out. See if we can go three for three. I don't know how that's gonna go in. It's gonna clip. Yeah, okay, so no screws. And I hope our sensor right here is good. And that's the same inland that's on RAV4s, everything like that. Pop it in. Something ain't right. So we're gonna have to do something different. Maybe it ain't the right emblem. All right, we got the emblem all fitted in. This is the right part number, but we just couldn't get it in before. So we had to use this piece right here and cut it to make our own. So it's all good now, fits tight, but it's always the small things like that that hold you back. All right, so our goal was to get the bumper on and the headlights get the front end 100% complete, but we didn't realize we didn't have the brackets and we didn't have the bulb in the headlight and all that. But that's the bad news, but it's all good. It should be about one more video in the front end. Corolla should be 100% complete. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at Swamp Boys Garage, and we'll see you in the next one.